Hello everyone, this is Gnobat and today I want to talk to you about the tournaments and how they got hit on the ban list and what is the future looking forward for the archetype. So uh, on the screen you can see the ban list, probably all have seen what happened, so Kit Colors is banned and uh, we have multitude of names going to one as well as all the Jizu cards going to one. Now all of these cards were three offs in the deck and now you can only play one of them. So what does that mean for the archetype? Is it dead? A lot of people say it's like unplayable now, but um, obviously there's also a lot of people say it's still very, very good. And I just wanted to discuss where exactly I think t element will be on that spectrum. So if you've paid attention to the OCG, um, t element had similar uh, hits, so like Kit Kalos got banned there as well, and the deck still ended up being the best deck. Now, what the OCG has is they have Merle still at 3, and they have Havness at 2, so they have more names than we had. Also, I think some of the Ishizu cards also had more than one, so you got hit a lot harder um, than the OCG. Uh, the only difference for us is we still have 3 Palo Rhino. I think the OCG only has 1. Now, um, I have tested a deck list yesterday, played around with it, looked at the OCG list, talked to a few people, and uh, one of the first drafts that I had was something like this. Don't pay attention to the side deck, it's still my side deck from last format. Um, I'm sure some of the choices will still apply, however, um, some of them probably won't. For example, you won't play as many mirror matches, so Ghost Trooper is probably not that good. Uh, flu is probably not as important, and you, you, you get the point. Um, but what we want to focus on is here, first is the main deck, and the extra deck, and just see how the deck can play looking from now on. So, you can see we play all the Ishizu cards at 1, we play all the names at 1, and uh, for the rest, we play the King of the Swamp package. If you follow the OCG, you should uh, know this. Um, this is how they compensate for the Kid Colors ban, so that you can still go into Rule Colors. So King of the Swamp substitutes for the Kid Colors that is banned, and you just fuse King of the Swamp and any tier element name for Rule Colors. You can also, in some situations, uh, substitute for Rhino Heart if you want to go into um, Kaleido Heart. And um, a newer addition is Grapha, which is just Grapha, Dragon Lord of Dogwood, which you will substitute with the King of the Swamp, and any Dark Monster, so any tier plus King of the Swamp. And this is basically an Omni, but it also like it forced it changes the effect of the opponent's card that they activate that you're negating into um, your opponent is discarding a card. So the opponent in that case is you. So you discard a card, and in some cases that can be beneficial to you. For example, if you have a tier name in hand, you can just discard it and go into another fusion um, in your opponent's turn. Now, um, we also play at 3 the new Tielemans Cashier. This is to compensate for the hits on the Tielemans cards. So um, we have to fill the deck with more Tielemans names and also more good mill targets. So Tielemans Cashier um, can on summon mill 3 and on mill also mills 2. So it can help you get more mills in. This decklist, the new decklist, has to mill a lot more because you don't have as many targets. Um, so, um, what else is important? Foolish Burial, um, previously not played in the deck, is now a very, very good card in the deck because you can access any of your names um, specifically, uh, so you don't have to randomly mill them. You can mill um, Kalbeck or Agido to just get basically the, the Kit Kalos effect of mill 5, just to get your grave going. You can mill um, any of your utility cards in this particular list I have Shadows as my utility. I will talk about other options as well. Uh, you can just do a lot of things with Foolish Burial. In a pinch you can also mill just the King of the Swamp if you need the substitution. Uh, another card that is really good now is Foolish Burial Goods. You can use Foolish Burial Goods to send Scream, add a trap, send Soliac, add a name, and uh, there is also more that you can do with that card. I will talk about that later. But This right now is very bare bones. Um, lastly, we have Kashira Fenrir, um, a bit more expensive, um, but this is a version that you can play, so you can just, if you open Fenrir, you can special it, use the effect, add Telemans Kashira, and you have a good going second card as well that works with your engine, so I think Kashira Fenrir is very, very good. 
However, um, you don't uh, have to necessarily play it. You can play with some more budget option for sure. Like you can play more foolish barrier builds and other options I can talk to you about. Speaking of not budget, uh, we also have triple tactic ta tasking or thrust as it's called. Um, so this is just a super good going second card. And in this deck, you have so many good targets. So obviously you play the one of talent. Um, this combination against Kashira basically breaks their board. Uh, you can also use it to access terraforming, which um, can get you your Peldorino or your um, Kashira field spell. So with this, you can get Telemans Kashira or Fenrir. Um, you can also use it to get goods or burial. Um, you can, um, if your opponent does not have, like, if you go first and you use tasking and the opponent hand trips you, no, it, they hand trip you and you use tasking. Um, they don't have a monster, so tasking then says you cannot activate the card you set. We still play the meta noise, so that would just allow us to get the meta noise set for our opponent's turn, which meta noise is really, really strong against Cash Tira because they summon Unicorn or Fenrir, you flip it down, and they can't really continue playing. Now, for the extra deck, um, I already talked about the Grafa, the other ones you should know. Uh, we run Winda because we run the Shadow package in this version, and there is the this little package with the Draco Sag and Cherubini, which I'm not convinced of, but I wanted to try it out. So the idea is you have Fenrir on board and you summon Kashtira, Telemans Kashtira somehow. So you can overlay them, go into a Draco Sag, and Draco Sag will give you two tokens. Now the tokens are level three, so you can link them off into Cherubini, which will then send King of the Swamp. Um, note, you cannot send Havnus because Cherubini sends as a cost. So you could send Havnus, but it wouldn't trigger. But you can send King of the Swamp, now you have that in Grave, and then you can use Cherubini and Draco Sack, uh, Link 2 plus any monster to go into Spread Sprint, which will then send Merly to your Grave, and then Merly with the King of the Swamp that you have in the Grave will go into Volcalos. So what did you do? You have um, used Fenrir and uh, Tielemen Kishtira to make a Rulkalos and have a Spread Sprint, which can also, if you have an Xyz, can also be another disruption. So uh, this is a line to access your Merly. I am not really convinced because you are giving up your Fenrir that you have on board, which also can interact with your opponent in a meaningful way, um, just to go into this line over like a couple of hoops. But I wanted to test it out. So yeah, this is more of a, like a standard list that is very inspired by the OCG. Um, now some options that you have is uh, something that I was trying is uh, I'm, instead of the Shadows and the window, I'm playing two Malicious, the Dangerous, and Beatrice. So what does that do? Um, if you mill Malicious and a element, you can fuse Malicious and the element to go into Dangerous. And then uh, you can use Dangerous Effect. It says you can discard one card and send one Destiny Hero from your hand or deck to the graveyard. And the rest is a type boost, doesn't really matter. So you use Dangerous to send a Malicious from your deck to your graveyard. And then you have a level 6 Dangerous, level 6 Malicious, and overlay them into Beatrice, which then in your turn you can send uh, a tier limit name from your deck to the grave, or you can send um, Scream, Sully Egg, whatever you need, uh, trigger a fusion or add a card. And then you still have one material on the Beatrice for your opponent's turn to do another fusion. So you can basically access your deck twice, and it helps you use up your names um, more efficiently. Which is the new game plan of this deck is how to get to the names more efficiently before it was more brute force. Um, if you mill both malicious, that's also not a big deal. You can just go and uh, fuse one of the malicious with your telemand, and then you still have one malicious in the deck. You don't have to use the effect of dangerous to mill them. You already have the malicious, and you go to Beatrice. Another option to play is Trivi Karma. So um, this card. Uh, when it's in the graveyard, the, it has a field effect, but that's uh, not relevant because you need Visa Starfrost. But for the grave effect, you can banish it from the graveyard and add one spell trap that mentions Visa Starfrost from your deck to your hand, except Trivi Karma. So um, if you read Pearl Rhino, Pearl Rhino can add Visa Starfrost. So with Foolish Burial Goods and a Trivi Karma in the deck, you can send Trivi Karma and then banish it to add Pearl Rhino, which is still games with Pearl Rhino as opposed to games without Pearl Rhino are just massively different. So uh, Trivi Karma definitely an option that you can use here. 
Um, I think it can also add uh, Telemann Grief. Let me just check that. Yeah, so if you want, you can also add Telemann Grief, which is also an option in this deck. If you, for example, don't have the uh, Fenris, you can just use this for more consistency. And um, with the Grave Effect nowadays also comes up sometimes, because if this is sent to the Grave Card Effect, you can banish uh, get one of your banished Telemann traps back to your hand, and uh, Telemann's Cash Tira, the summoning condition is to banish a Telemann card, or a Cash Tira card, so what you want to do is you can banish your traps from the graveyard, and then if you mill a Grief, you just get a trap for free. Um, so yeah, that's uh, Trivi Karma. The reason why I'm not sold on it is because it's not easy to get out of hand. Uh, so if you draw it, it's basically a dead card, you can't really get it out of your hand. Um, unless you somehow go into Dangerous, for example, the hero variant can discard it, but then you already went into your fusions before you add your field spell. Um, speaking of field spell, there's also uh, the new Telemet field spell, which um, says, <coughs> if an Aqua Telemet monster is sent to your graveyard by card effect, you can send one level four or lower Aqua monster from your deck to the graveyard, but if it's not a Telemet monster, you cannot activate cards, or the effects of cards with the same name. So. Basically what this does is um, you mill a tier element, this triggers, and then you can either send another tier element if you have a lot of monsters in your grave, so you can perform another fusion, or you can send a king of the swamp and um, fuse the tier element that you just sent with the king of the swamp that you also put in the graveyard. So a line would be you activate this card, you normal summon um, Rhino Heart, you mill a tier element, activate that tier element's effect, chain this, and mill another uh, Telement or a King of the Swamp from your deck to your graveyard. Now note, you can only do this play if you have a legal target to fuse into. So in this scenario, you have Rhino Heart plus Telement. That is no longer a legal scenario because Kid Colors is banned. So uh, you have to have a monster in your hand that can fuse with the Telement in the grave. And then you send another, like the King of the Swamp, and fuse with that. But for just to trigger the effect of the Telement, you have to have that monster in hand. Now, um, the other field spell we talked about. Now, if you run the Shadow package, note that you can play Shadow Fusion. I would not main deck it, but for going second in the side deck, this is definitely an option if you already play uh, the Shadow package, because you can just, um, opponent has an extra deck monster, you use Shadow Fusion, you send a tier element and a Shadow, and uh, you can go from there. Also, you can send something like a. Um, is it something like a Shadow Dragon, for example? Um, or I think, where's the Water Fusion? Is there Water Fusion? Yeah, uh, so you can also send, um, in this case, the Telemann Kashtira or Rhino Heart, just to make this. Um, uh -huh. I don't know what this does. Uh, just, it's mostly about the attribute, and 2007 art is also fine. Um, Another route that you can take this deck is something that Pack did, is uh, using Divine of the Herald, because what Pack said was it is the best normal summon, it's better than Reinhardt, because you can just send a Telemet name, or what Pack is doing is uh, sending Herald the Arc Light to add Ohime. Um, sending Herald is level 4, so the Diviner would be level 6, then you can special summon the Ohime. Uh, if you run the mechanical engine, and then you have two sixes and can go into Beatrice with a one card combo. Um, so that's also a route that you can take. Um, <clears throat> that uh, if you have the mechanical engine, I think it rose in price a lot. So, um, where does this leave us? Where is Telemann in this uh, meta? So, I do not think the deck is dead. I think uh, the deck is definitely playable at a good level. Um, probably even tiered, um, no pun intended, but it is way more susceptible to hate cards like bestials. So the thing here is that um, you have three names and you only have them once. So once one of these names is banished, they're gone, right? Unless you mill uh, Telemann's Crime, for example, but that's just an uh, edge scenario. Um, what's important is that you are way weaker to bestials now. Now, conversely, because Telemann is no longer tier 0, people will no longer over main deck against Telemann. So it's no longer the case that every deck will play like 8 bestials, like 5 bestials in main deck. Um, so 
Maybe that will help Tillamant play better against these decks, just like fly under the radar a bit, especially since the Bestials are really bad against Kashtira because they are like Earth and Wind and what have you. Um, speaking of Kashtira, uh, something like Diablosis, the Mind Hacker, which uh, banishes cards from the extra deck, um, uh, from the top of the deck and, and extra deck, can also be very hurtful because if they hit one of your names, that's also gone. And you can't even get it back with crime. So you're more susceptible to hate to uh, having your cards banished. So I definitely can't see tier elements being like the number one deck anymore, just because it's very susceptible to these hate cards now. Um, now, speaking of the bestials before, um, something like Branded, which was very had a very, very bad matchup against tier element, now actually looks pretty favored against it because uh, you don't have that many shufflers anymore, which was the big issue. And you play main deck bestials and you can afford to play those because it they are your, they are your engine. So even though it doesn't do much against Cash Tira, you still main deck some bestials. And then once you see a TLM play, you just uh, dismantle their graveyard. So all in all, I think uh, something like the version I showed you uh, can still be optimized to be a bit more consistent. I think the ceiling on the deck is fine, um, but I think something like this is definitely still something that you can take to a tournament. Now, lastly, I wanted to show you just an example hand that I did with this uh, exact deck list. So we go into the replay, and you see my hand, which is uh, Tillemans, Cash Tira, Scream, Hello Rhino, King of the Swamp, and a Foolish Barrier Good. Now, we start with King of the Swamp. Um, we want to get the Poldy out of the deck because uh, it's a bad mill, and also with the King of the Swamp in the graveyard. Now, next up, we go Polar Rhino. Uh, the sequencing of this deck has gotten a lot harder, so you actually have to think about how do you get to your names. For example, your searches sometimes do you want to search your name with Polar Rhino, or do you want to search your Rhino Heart to send a name? Uh, in this particular hand, I wanted the Rhino Heart because we already have King of the Swamp, and um, that means just by normal summoning the Rhino Heart, we can go into uh, Rule Colors, which protects us from Bestials and Nibiru. And the rest of the hand also is enough to play on after that. So we're going to do exactly that. We play the Scream just so. Scream is very important in your list because it just adds more mills to your deck because you don't have that much tier density, so you just want to mill more. So we mill three and we mill the Happiness. So our hits were Shadow Beast. Shallow Hollow and a Shuffler, and then we send the Havness. So now what we're going to do is chain link one uh, Havness, chain link two Beast, chain link three Hollow. Uh, I won't always want to order it so that the mills are the last ch uh, chain links, just have so more material in the grave and have more options in fusion. So we're going to mill one, then we're going to draw one, we also Beast, and then the Havness will make our root colors. Next up, um, Decided to go into Foolish Burial Goods, send the Soliac because I want to have a Shiren. Now, um, now that we have a Soliac in Grave, I can use Tillman's Kashtira, banish it, special, use the effect to mill three, and we hit a Tillman's Kashtira, which we then mill two more. We whiff on those mills, but uh, that's fine, we still have the Shiren. So we're going to Shiren, mill three, and we hit a Murley. It's a really good hit. Even if we didn't hit the Murley, this would have also been fine, but the Murley definitely helps out here because now we can just get a free Grafa. And next up, we go Overlay for Redoer and use the last element name, Shiren, to fuse Shiren, Rhino Heart, and King of the Swamp to um, Kaleido Heart. And this is something you do very often now in the new list is uh, because you don't have Kid Colors getting your traps, uh, if you have the Pearl Rhino, you just summon the Kaleido Heart, you pop it with the Pearl Rhino comes back, you send the Scream, Scream triggers, and you get the trap. In this case, we get Meta Noise because uh, both our Sully X are gone. So this is the last trap that we have, but it's fine. So we end on a Grafa, a Kaleido Heart, Rule Colors. Uh, we have a Telemet Kashtira that we can send. Um, oh, we don't have Sully uh, Yeah, so sometimes the Kashtira just is lying around here, but uh, we can use it for Rule Colors effect. Uh, we have a Scream to mill three. We have Meta Noise to send a T element from our deck to the grave and flip something. Uh, Meta Noise also a big reason why it's way better now is because you can you can uh, specifically get a T element from your deck to the graveyard. And that's kind of the game plan is to always have these three names in your deck, mill them, use them, and uh, use your resources that way.
and we also have the redoer which comes back in the on in the end phase. So uh, that is Telemann post ban list. Let me know what you think. Will the deck still be good? Do you think the deck will fall off of cliff? Uh, what do you think is the best deck next format? Uh, do you think it's Kashira branded? Is like something entirely different? Is it Telemann? Just let me know down in the comments and see you next time.